Hey guys, it's Mark. So, I keep seeing all these questions about break upgrades. So, I figured I'd do a video on it real quick. Um, the easiest is uh, Techno Toy Tuning. They have this Willwood kit. This will fit the early hubs, you know, like 84 to 86. And uh, 84 to 86, and then the 87 to 89 NA hubs that have the bolt on rotors. These will fit those. Um, they're a little pricey, but if you just want something super easy, bolts on, this is probably the kit for you. Comes with everything you need. Um, fix it ish. He has a video of installing them on a customer's car, so I would check that out if you want to go that route. Um, for the more budget guys, Z32 calipers are usually what people use because usually cheaper, they bolt right on. You might have to use some washers to space them out a little bit, but the calipers bolt up. You can get S13, Z32 conversion brake lines. They fit the Z31. Um, if you have an 84 to 86 turbo, or you have any of the NA cars, you will have bolt-on hubs. So you will have to get them like turned down or use a flapper disc on an angle grinder and cut them down. Um, I used 87 turbo hubs, which already use a slip-on rotor, so I didn't have to do any modifications there. Um, it's a good budget option for the front. Um, but since then, I have gone bigger. And these are the Z32 with an 11-inch rotor. This is what I have now. It's a CTSV. It's a 2004 to 2007 Cadillac CTSV front brake caliper. They're made by Brembo. They're four piston. You can see the size difference. They're huge. They use a 12.75 inch 350Z Brembo track pack rotor. Um, so a lot of a lot of braking power. Um, and here you can see a picture of my car with them up front. These are 18 inch wheels. You see it fills it out pretty well. These requires at least 17 inch wheels so keep that in mind um, these are the adapters you need to use if you're going to use CTSV calipers so I actually used S13 but I actually messaged these guys um, later and found out the S14 spacing is closer to the Z31 so if you do do this I would get the S14 bracket it's the same price and you should have to use less washers to space the caliper over the rotor so it's centered. Or you might not even have to at all. Um, there it is, bolted. You see there is a little bit of modification you need to just grind that down. Um, and you need to tap the holes on the hub, the spindle, to accept bolts. Um, or at least this one you do. They have instructions, though. It's it's pretty easy to follow. Um, if you want to go bigger than that on the front, you can get six piston. These are off a 08 plus CTSV. Uh, or no, it's I'm sorry, it's 09 to 2014 Cadillac CTSV. These are six piston. They use a 14 inch 370Z rotor, and these things are absolutely massive. You need 18 inch wheels at least to fit these. Um, if you still have a stock subframe, rear subframe, and you want to do a brake upgrade in the rear, um, the Z32 calipers will fit only on the 87 to 89 Z31s because the earlier cars just had a, you know, the thin non-vented rotor. You need a vented rotor because that's what the Z32 caliper uses, and those are only found on the 87 to 89 cars and the Z32 caliper will bolt up right to a 87 to 89 rear subframe um, but you will you lose your e-brake because the Z32 calipers use a drum e-brake so you can't use Z32 rotors with this one you gotta use your 87 to 89 rotors um, so that's a good upgrade on the rear I have heard you can use M30 that's an Infinity M30 um, rear brake parts to make it work on a Z31 and keep the e-brake or if you're like me and you have a rear subframe swap 
you can just um, use the Z32 e-brake, drum e-brake stuff, and it's got cables that come out, and I have them mounted. So I adapted them to use my stock e-brake handle. Um, most guys, though, aren't subframe swapped in the rear, so... I mean, really, just upgrading to Z32, four-piston calipers on the front makes a good difference. It's a noticeable difference, for sure. But I'm making, like, over 600 wheel horsepower, so... You know, I wanted to go bigger. Um, and then if you are subframe swapped like me, you can actually use CTSV calipers on the rear. Um, they're four-piston. They require 18-inch wheels. Um, so I have a S chassis subframe, so I would... But I have Z32 aluminum uprights, so I'd probably use the Z32 as my chassis. And you can also do, with these is nice, you can do... Uh, CTSV primary and a Z32 secondary if you want to do a hydro e-brake. Um, yeah, so that's the uh, you know the major brake upgrades that most people use. Um, like I said, this Willwood kit's the easiest. Um, the Z32 front calipers will bolt on. Um, if you have the early turbo. 84 to 86 or any hubs you need to grind them down so the rotor will physically fit over the hub or you can just use 87 plus turbo hubs but they're expensive and then the rear you can use Z32 stuff yeah that's pretty much it I'll post some of these links in the uh, description uh, you can message me on YouTube or Facebook if you have any questions thanks for watching see you in the next one